Hello, I'm going to show you how to make something like this, I'm just an old photo or I mean it can be a new photo too but I, I really like using old photos. Turning an old photograph into like a 3D video or a 3D like video. So I, I have this old photo that I got off Google. So this is what it kind of started out looking like. And uh, we have it in Photoshop here. And, and I'm not a Photoshop pro or anything. So basically what we have it in Photoshop for is to separate the layers that's going to be part of your 3D video. You can do it in After Effects as well using a mask tool, but I can do that on a different tutorial. For now, we're just going to do a Photoshop version. So I brought the uh, fit photo in here and I've already separated them and I've got them into four different layers and I have I have the kids separated by themselves I have the dog behind them see I can just I just quickly cut this out you can do this a lot better take a lot more time on it and here is and here's the front of the porch and also the little pillars and then the background and you can see here that I just really quickly cloned it and doesn't it's not very you can take a lot more time on this and make this a lot better looking but it'll work for what we're trying to do so what I did on each one of these I saved them separately so it's four different Photoshop files I saved and I just keep them in Photoshop PSD files just so I can edit them later. It's a lot easier that way. Um, so there's four different Photoshop files that basically create this image. So now we'll open up After Effects and this is pretty straightforward. So I have the background there, this is the dog, the front and the kids and I'm just going to load them all. I'm just going to import them into the timeline. Just drag them in. And now it'll bring up a default like composition setting. Just keep it at six seconds for now. It's a lot easier, but you can make obviously you make things as long as you want. Now you have the four files, and what I try to do is I try to make the files based on where they're gonna be in the frame. So this is the background. So I want that near the bottom. And the kids, because they're gonna be in the front. See, obviously the dogs kind of come over the girl there want her and you want the kids in the front the dog you want that'll be fine there and then the front pillars which is like this part you want them to be there will work but now these are the, this image is all it's in there now so you basically have a six second 2d shot but obviously that's not the end we want to create a 3d image so See this little box here, the 3D layers. You click the all these on. Okay, what we we'll want to do is set up now these shots, these now 3D uh, 3D layers into where they're gonna be in the 3D space. So what I do is I go click on this here where on the active camera. This is the front. There's what the camera sees right now. I'd like to click on top. So now these are all, all these files are all on the same plane looking down. And we don't want that obviously. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put the kids a little bit of front. We won't space them up too much, but you can if you want to. The front pillar stuff, we want that to be around the same time places the kids are. So just a little bit behind for now. The dog we want, we'll just keep that right there. And the background we can have a little bit farther back. I hope you can see this. This is, so this we're putting right in the back here. And it's this file. And then the, th the third farthest file is this. And then it's the front part and then the kids are right at the front. So now we have the, the 3D space, but now you can see there's a little bit of problems with my Photoshop files. I believe this file 
is you can see a little bit of black here. It's not a huge deal because you can now just move it around. I, I just click on the file and I'm just going to move it around just with my um, up and down arrows just to, just to kind of lock it in a little better. Just move it around. Just to hide some of that black stuff and again like you can make your backgrounds a lot better so you don't even have to worry about that so but basically that works you, you can see there's a little bit of black behind the girl here but that that could just pretend to be something in the shot I'm not gonna try too hard on this actual shot but so now we, we have it all set up pretty much um, all now we need is to add a camera so you right click new camera and you can change all these settings like focus distance and stuff um, it, right at the start but I, I like fiddling with it later um, so I, I usually just start at the default so the camera pops up there and now you can see that the shot is like out of focus because th that's a good sign actually because you know things are starting to work so what we're gonna do this is what I do from after you have all these these four layers set up I move everything just with the camera it's a lot easier sometimes you, like you can use the layers and move them around but it's just so much easier just just using the camera so what I like to do is I go to transform and I just like to click all these clocks just to keep it all set up even here on the camera options just click them all on so you know pretty much everything there's no like, surprises you just set it up the way you want and it'll be it'll stay there because sometimes it can switch around if you don't have everything all clicked on what I like to do at the start is just set up where I would want the camera to start and I use position a lot and I use this back one this this kind of goes in and out but this is all about fiddling like I just fiddle with the, all these settings so we'll start with a close-up of the kids somewhere there and then obviously now it's kind of soft so we want to make sure the focus distance again we just fiddle around with this to make sure the kids are nice and sharp so that, that looks pretty good and then now what I do is I go right to the end of the shot you go to the camera and you make sure all these are on again and I just reset because our end of our shot is going to be very close to this file shot and ignore the little shifting so you can see a lot of black here that's just my hastily done uh, Photoshop files I don't know if you have to do this but I, I, I like doing that so now we have the end shot and so what I do again is just we'll just zoom in a, a little bit less a lot less than last time so now that's kind of like the finish finish shot so now we can already see a little bit of what's going on but this will be fairly boring it won't uh, won't be very dynamic Again, just ignore the, this black stuff. I'll fix that in a bit. This is we're just trying to establish the camera move. So that's it's getting there. But what I like to do now is I, I go to about halfway in the shot and click all these guys again. And now you're gonna make a key frame using the camera again with a little bit just this is where you can be a little creative I like to move everything kind of around a bit like kind of move the perspective a lot maybe down a little bit even maybe skew it a bit like this and again it's just, just fiddling around like I don't know how to do this other than visual I, I like just looking at on how things look so that's already gonna look 
pretty neat. So we'll check this out. That looks a little better. It's got like a little 3D move on it. And this obviously is very subtle. Um, you can do a lot. You know, you can go, you can go crazy with this thing. Again, like the background needs a lot of work to fix it up. But you get the idea of how you can use this for any kind of project. Um, I love using the technique for anything. I, I did it with animation, and uh, it just gives you a lot more options with your video productions. I hope this was useful for you. And I'll try and make up some more tutorials um, for After Effects um, and video in general. Thanks for watching.